Welcome everyone to another video blog. I want to discuss something that I know deep inside of you, you already know, and this has to do with your identity. I truly believe that a big chunk of, of the problems that we are experiencing as a society comes from a lack of a strong, big identity. Because you see, your identity comes in hand with your perception, how you perceive not only yourself, but the world, how you choose to filter it. And the problem that I always see is this. We objectify stuff. We separate ourselves. We dissect everything because, you know, when you talk about the mind, you think that you're being intelligent. But I think that the mind is not really understood as it is, as, as a whole. We tend to believe that the mind is only in the brain, and the brain is overrated. Straight up. The brain is not everything that we are. So, if we think we're only with our brains, and we rationalize everything, we dissect fucking everything. We separate everything, so, so that we can make sense from one part, to survive but from the other part is to objectify and then feel in quotes good about conquering about getting more stuff let me give you an example i see a tree i see nature i don't see it as a part of me i don't see it as a living thing i just see it as a thing right because i objectify it god damn it there's, there's a tree there is a chance to make a furniture and sell it and make money get some profit out of it I see people, and instead of seeing the human, I see an opportunity to sell you something. I see dollar bills, right? I, I see an opportunity to get ahead and get something in return. So people are always thinking about me, 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 me. And that's the problem with identification. And when you think only with, the, with this, with the brain, you are very attached, very much attached to the ego. And the ego only cares about, you already know. That's pretty fucked up. You see, I don't think we, didn't, we need to be told to be good. I don't think we need to be told about morals, about values. I think what we need to do is enhance our perception. See things from a broader perspective, from a bigger perspective. And our identity it needs to be bigger. It needs to en englobe the entire fucking species, the entire fucking world, because we are all part of the world. And what you do, guess what? Even if right now it doesn't make sense to you, but what you do, it affects me. It affects fucking everything. So if you bring down that tree so that you can sell something, you get the profit, but in reality you are affecting the environment. You're affecting me, you're affecting what I breathe, you're affecting an entire fucking environment, an entire fucking uh, way of living, uh, not just one mm, species, but an entire fucking species, a variety of, of living creatures, of living things, of living organisms. So why I say that we don't need to be told to be good, to take care of the fucking planet, you see, you need to be told not to cut your hand. Right? You know that you will experience pain. Fucking no-brainer, right? If you punch yourself in the eye, you know it's gonna hurt. And you'll probably be labeled as a goddamn crazy person. Why are you hurting yourself? You know, if you want to be successful and you want to have that mindset of go get it and, you know, always be like a business and blah, 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 blah. You know that you don't cut yourself in the leg. You need your legs, you need your eyes, you need your hands to go out there and make business. And, and, and you need to be healthy, you need to be strong, sharp. You see, if we experienced a bigger identity, in other words, if we saw each other as part of one big species, to, to give an example, if I see you as a part of me, then I wouldn't hurt you. Would I? If I see you as a part of my finger, why the fuck would I go out there and go out of my way and cut my own finger? This goes to one of the 
um, oldest sayings and teachings, which is don't do to another person the things that you wouldn't like to be done unto you. Treat others in the way you want to be treated. And then expand it a little bit. Not just on humans. We can begin just on humans. Hey, don't mistreat another person because that person is a human being. Come on, shit. It's like you are treating yourself as a shitty person as well. You are a reflection. We are all reflections of each other. And we all matter, God damn it. We all matter. And what you do, whether it's good or bad, it affects me. That's why I want to see more people shining because I know that the more successful you are, it creates a ripple effect. We are all interconnected, whether we like it or not. And I think we're seeing it now more than ever. So, don't think you're so different and so, so much smarter, bigger, better, brighter than a tree, than the tree that is right outside of your door, doorstep. You're not that different. We're all in this together. And if one goes, you know, I'll give you an example, a bee, if the bees go extinct, probably we all go down the shit hole <laughs> and it's something so small something so small yet so powerful and so important and i believe that each and every one of us are like that it doesn't matter if you're big strong small you know chubby it really doesn't matter because you matter and what you do affects us all it affects the fucking collective to realize that and stop objectifying things, people, nature, living organisms. Don't think you're so separated from them. Because on the, uh, you know, at the end of it all, we're all gonna fucking die. We're all going the, down the same path. Not to be grim, but we're all going down the same path. We're all in this together. So a big part of you know, becoming spiritual, if that makes sense to you, is making your identity bigger. Not just identifying you and your body and your sex, just as this is who I am, and I am so different than everybody else. Because the more you think like that, the more you identify with that, with just ego, the less you're gonna care about others, about people, about life, about the world, so just meditate on this. Go out in nature, touch a tree, and realize the magnificent life that is happening, whether with you or without you. The wonderful mechanisms of nature and of life itself. They're happening with your permission, without your permission. You see how the ants work together. You know, and then you begin to realize, damn, what we need in this world is not more competition. It's not more, you know, uh, this hustler, entrepreneurial mindset of, oh, man, I gotta get it and I'm the best. And no, 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 man, you gotta relax. This is not a competition. Survival has been um, misinterpreted for a long time. You think that surviving is just about you and fuck everybody else? I'm, I gotta survive. When in reality, survival is about coming together, contributing contribution working together we are stronger when we fucking work together and the example is as the one that i gave you you see an ant an ant is just a small thing but when they work together they become this force now imagine if we all work together and i think you have experienced this in your own world when you work with a group of people towards the same goal maybe you could have done it all on your own but the experience and the end goal and the result is much, much bigger, much, much brighter and better because of working together, because of a collective word, uh, work, contribution, contributing one, one to another. I am not better than you. I'm not here to compete and tell you I'm going to get it. I'm going to get your customers. On the other hand, I know, I know that I'm going to affect you. You affect me. Why don't we work together? What, what, what do we want? We want to live good. We want to have a great experience of life. We want to be blissful. And at the end of the all, we're fucking living in the same place. So why the hell would I want to destroy our own home? It doesn't make any fucking sense. 
you see your home, you don't want to live in a shithole, you don't want to live in a stinky ass place. Well, don't do the same with the world, with nature, with your neighbor. I think by now you understand my point. This is the message for today. Be the best version of yourself. And remember, place your identity. Right now you see yourself as just a man or a woman or an Instagram or whatever the fuck you think you are. Enhance that. See things from a wider, bigger perspective and realize that whatever you think you are right now, you are nothing compared to the greater scheme of things. You are nothing. You think you're so fucking important with your goddamn Instagram stories or your goddamn Instagram shit or your business, whatever the fuck. You are nothing. You are absolutely nothing. You are greater when you think on the greater scheme of things and you realize that together we are everything. Stop thinking just about you, all right? Thank you for listening. Ometeotl.